Come on, Sam. Wake up, little boy. Sleepy time's over. Yo, Mr. Paxton! Come on, Sam. Don't make me have to start chopping limbs here. Come on. There he is. The man of the hour has officially arrived. Let me just say how good it is to finally meet you, Sam. Still fucking short. Even with those lifts in your boots. I know, tell me about it. It's Christ. She hot? Yeah, she's better looking than you. Yeah, it's nice you came yeah. to visit. You can leave that open. Yeah, you should probably let this place air out. Want a beer? Oh shit, man, is there a fucking choice? Not really. <laughs> Welcome to paradise. <laughs> paradise, is that what we're calling this place? Okay. How you been? How's the missus? How's your mom? <sighs> sorry, buddy. Don't be sorry, man. It's all right. Kansas is a bitch, brother. Yeah, too bad some things that could really help are illegal. That's actually what I want to talk to you about. What are you doing for money nowadays, Jimmy? Staying out of trouble, that's what matters. Well, you remember that second tour in Kandahar? Remember the village? The one with the marijuana fields? You trying to get me to grow pot with you, Sam? Look, we learned something major over there, man. You gonna tell me that putting that to use and making some money out of it? That's something you never thought of? I'm not your guy. No? No, you're right. I must be mistaking you for the other guy with the foreclosure notice on his door. Thanks for the visit, Sam. Look, Jimmy, what are you gonna do, huh? At some point, someone is gonna come and kick you out of your, uh, your paradise here. And then you're either gonna end up back over there or somewhere worse. No, hey, listen to me. Look, I watched my mother wither away when I knew I could have done something about it. I'm not talking about fucking selling weed here, Jimmy. I'm talking about doing something real, okay? Cancer, it's curable. It's more of a business than it is a disease. You know, those weren't all marijuana fields out there in Kandahar. Half that was poppy. Opium fields. Exactly.
Marijuana's only been illegal all these years because of the big fat douchebags running corporate America. First, it was William Randolph Hearst looking to line the pockets of his newspaper empire with gold. Then, in the 80s, Pharmaceutical companies, they kept this shit. Schedule one narcotic, because it helps fight diseases that they don't want cured. Because if they help heal everyone, who are they gonna get to buy the drugs? Look, what do you think's gonna happen? What, they're gonna buy my research and start clinical trials? You sound like some tree-hugging hippie. You do not know what's gonna happen. Oh, I don't, huh? No, you don't, Sam. Do you ever think you just don't want to see your work come to an end? I love your passion, but what's the point of all this if you're just gonna hold your work hostage? Uh, you know, let's not forget here, Amanda. I grow marijuana, all right? Excuse me? I do not give my husband up four nights a week for marijuana. You know Mrs. Singer? Yeah, yeah, she's the one that calls me Kevin Bacon, right? Wait, she didn't, um... She went to remission this week. No, she's stage four pancreatic. That's impossible. They're calling it a miracle? All the doctors are taking credit for it? In reality, I've been giving her your CBD extract for the past three months. Amanda, you've been administering my formula to patients? Look, I know we said we weren't going to, but babe, it works. No, 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 look, that is, it's far from FDA approved. You can get in a lot of trouble if you get caught. Well, maybe it'd be legal if you started playing ball with the rest of the world. <sighs> look, I know you have your reasons. No, we're not talking about that. Hey, Amanda, Barry wants to see you in his office. I gotta go. I'll call you back later. Bye. Yeah? Love you too. You lose 50K at one of Mr. Black's tables. Now, that's just fine. Hell, that's dandy. We see that kind of thing all the time. We extend you a lot of credit to make your money back. We don't need to do that, but we did. You make your money back. You make our money back. Time to settle up and walk away. But you didn't settle up now, did you, boy? You did not walk away. It's, it's gambling. That's how it works sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? He's trying to tell me how gambling works. Oh, God damn it. Oh, evening, boss. Well, well, Mr. Renfro. How are we tonight? Please, I, I was telling your man I can get you your money. These things really start to blur together after a while, don't they? That they do, boss. That they do. Unfortunately, you know how many guys sat in that chair and told me the same load of horse crap? I know, I, I understand that, but I can deliver. You just gotta give me a couple days. <laughs> What's he owe? About a hundred thousand dollars. Whoa, rich blood, Mr. Renfro. How do you plan on paying me back in a couple of days? Mommy and Daddy? Mm-mm. Go back to the fucking tape. Mm -mm. That's what I thought, Ace. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, uh, marijuana. Marijuana! <laughs> hey! You wanna pay me back a hundred grand in marijuana? Or double, triple, just make him stop! Pull up, Ace. Fuck! Thank God. I would not thank God just yet. He's right. My curiosity doesn't last that long. No. 
Okay, so my grandma has this ranch, right? And uh, a few years ago, she took on this new tenant, this medical marijuana collective. <laughs> Are you trying to tell us that your granny owns a pot farm? <laughs> <laughs> oh, kid, that may be a lot of things, but a pot dealer ain't on the fucking list. I don't understand. This, this guy, uh, Sam Paxton, he's an ex-military guy. He must have picked up some tricks from Iraq because he's got this formula. I don't know what he's splicing it with, but apparently, this shit, it, it fights cancer like a motherfucker. <laughs> What's he using? Miracle Grow? What, what do you mean it fights cancer? It, apparently, the entire medical industry is trying to cut a deal with them, but he won't do it because of some hippy dippy bullshit. How do I know the same bullshit? Oh, that, that guy, the, the, the black guy who always sits at your high stakes table. Uh, he, he's, his face is in all those magazines. Uh, ask Ace, Ace, you know what I'm talking about. I think he's talking about Carter Winslow. I know who he's talking about, thank you. Ask him if it's legit. I bet he tried to get a deal himself. Don't go anywhere. Mr. Winslow, how are you, my friend? Season? Heard you took me for a ride on the tables tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's okay. Usually finds its way back one player or another. Listen, my friend, I have a question for you. Call it a hypothetical. You're talking about the Paxton research. I know it. <laughs> it, it might as well be a myth. Problem is, the tribe wants to sell. The chief doesn't. Seems like he's a man without a price. Attend me closely, Caesar. The one who gets me that formula, be it the chief, one of the little Indians, or somebody else, that person will be very, very well compensated. All right, we'll talk soon. All right, kid. What am I gonna find on Greeny's pop farm? What kind of security are you talking about? Chain link fence. Local PD? 30 miles away at best. All right, Mr. Renfro, you got 48 hours to get Granny off that farm. Can you do that for me? Well, what happens after 48 hours? Cut him loose. What happens after 48 hours? Ah! ah. All right, I'm gonna uh, hit the John real quick. Sure you are. This formula? We've been working on this for three years. We. Me, him, you. You know what I mean. Well, it's too late anyways. The ball's already no, rolled. No, we haven't handed anything over yet. Ladies, what are we doing here? Now, I know that this is gonna sound just shy of deplorable, but you know it and I know it. That lovely, lovely woman back there should have been in the dirt months ago. Now, before I go in there and ask Mrs. Singer why her Hail Marys are different than the rest, maybe you can shed a little light on what I saw earlier. We're taking Miracle completely out of it? Not if by Miracle you mean your husband's marijuana research, no. Look, Amanda, I know you mean to help. And although I don't doubt you're onto something here, you cannot give my patients weed. It was a concentrated CPD extract. It's not what I prescribed. Then why don't you prescribe it? Oh, that's right, because it's not made by one of them? Excuse me? I'm sorry, that was out of a No, you listen to me. There was a time that I was young and naive too, and I had what I thought were good ideas and great intentions. But out here in the real world, we professional people have to play along with these rules that were put in place long before we were here. And until your CBD extract is packaged and labeled as a medicine, it's still weed, my dear. Now, why don't you take the rest of the afternoon and go and review your job requirements? I don't think that that'll be necessary. That is not a suggestion, Amanda. We weren't here yesterday. Jane's been the one drowning the plants. Yeah. 
How about you come water these plants and I'll make doodles on the clipboard? Hey. And you guys seen the old lady at all today? She been flowing around? Are we supposed to? She always just stays in her room anyway. That worthless grandson of hers ever stopped by this week? Yeah, yeah, he was here. His face was all bruised up, actually. Tell him to fuck off? Yeah, yeah, of course. In the sky, how we looking? Over. <laughs> yeah, man, I, I gotta call you back, all right? Hello, Sam. Who the fuck is this? There'll be time for that later. Right now, I need you to listen. Are you motherfucker that just killed my entire team? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Listen, listen to me, motherfucker. I don't know what kind of sick joke you're fucking playing here. <laughs> oh, you must need the joke about keeping you alive. It's gonna be in your best interest to listen to me. I'm not playing your game, motherfucker. Cops? They're on the way. Twisted son of a bitch. Whatever it is that you want, whoever it is you want, I am not your guy. Well, as we speak, a black SUV is heading right for you. And yes, the heavily armed men inside will kill you when they see that you are still alive. Fuck. Don't believe me? Take a peek outside. Hey, welcome back, Sam. Why is there a truck heading down my driveway? You're not going to want to stick around to find out. Look, man, I don't know who you think I am or what it is that you think I have. Your special formula? You grow weed that drastically reduces cancer cells and you think you can keep that a secret? Get that formula and get to the other greenhouse. Who do we have here? Who the hell are these clowns? I said the greenhouse. Does this look like a fucking greenhouse to you? see no formula either.
Well, hello, gorgeous. Gentlemen, still lurking about this shithole you call a ranch. Good afternoon. My name's Mr. Black. Uh, where they put it? Uh, where they put it? Now, I understand that my killing all of your friends and, well, planning to kill you too makes it hard for you to trust what I'm about to say next. But I give you my word as a man that if you come forth with what I want, I will let you walk away for I'm assuming it's got to be the worst fucking day of your lives. However, if you do not come out and we find you, once again I give you my word that you'll wish you would have fallen with your comrades back there. Gentlemen, you have one fucking minute. Stay low. Get deeper into the room. Is this guy fucking seeing me? Like you have some company. Here. Found him on the john. Almost blew his own goddamn head off. That was you? It's a terrible shot. Miller, you seen anything? Not a fucking thing. He's not in here. Let's move. Look, you got the wrong guy, all right? I don't know anything. I just work here. Fucking Tim. Seriously, you gotta believe me. Shit. Now, why is it people always say that? Beats me. I don't know anything. Please don't kill my entire lineage, Mr. Black. You got the wrong guy. <laughs> Son, yo, eyes on me. This next part's very important. I need your undivided attention. The only thing keeping you alive is what you know. So for your own sake, don't sell yourself short. You clear the rest of the house? Empty, sir. Sam, you know what to do. Sam, it's me. Call me back. Okay, 
So who's a lucky contestant? I take it you haven't been in many situations like this before. I'm a guess not. <laughs> no? Of course not. I do not remember telling you to move. Oh yeah? You gonna shoot me? <laughs> what makes you think I won't? Nah, you gonna shoot me? You'd have done it already. Nah, uh, my guess is this piece of paper in my pocket doesn't die to you, pal. Oh, he thinks he's clever. Oh yeah? Well, you don't gotta be sure, Holmes. Figure out that you're keeping me alive so you can double cross your boss. Double cross? Is that what you think this is? Yeah, well, I doubt Mr. Whatever the fuck his name is is here to play find the pot farmer. Let's try something. You like movies, kid? I love when he does this. Like Toy Story? <laughs> <laughs> No. No. Not quite. Not at all. I was thinking more like Casino. You ever see that picture? Yeah. It's a classic. Kids got good taste, Ace. Damn good taste, boss. You remember that scene where Pesci has that poor fuck's head in the vice? <laughs> of course you do. Personally, my favorite fucking scene in the whole movie. Now, the Mick with his head in the vice, who was he trying to protect? You remember the name? Ace, you remember the yeah, name? Yeah, yeah, it was, uh, Charlie something. It was M. What was that? You say something, boy? It was Charlie M. Charlie M! It was Charlie M. I love that scene. Now, don't be stupid by trying to protect any Charlie M's. Because at the end of the day, did the mixed eye getting popped at his fucking head protect Charlie M? I don't know. They didn't put that in the movie. Son. I can assure you it did not. So now, let's start with your name. Timothy. Okay, Timothy. At this point, I'm sure you probably assumed that most of your buddies are dead. Dead and gone. Dead and gone. Why are you doing this? Look at Timmy boy asking the questions. One second he's not talking. And the next he's asking questions. Say, boss, don't they, don't they have a word for that in Yiddish? <laughs> yeah, they do. It's called having chutzpah. Chutzpah, that's what it was. It was chutzpah. Hey, boys, let's get those bodies out of that greenhouse. Timmy boy, we're going to get your dead cronies out here. But I'm not going to lie to you. It's not pretty. But I need you to focus. Because the faster you identify them, the quicker we get to figure out who is trying to be our fucking hero. And the faster we get to put an end to this dreadful day. You think you can do that, Timmy boy? <sighs> Fuck. <sighs> All right, Sam. You still with me? No, I went out for a fucking cup of coffee. <sighs> I'm assuming you have some protection stashed on that ranch. Okay, where are you, you prick? Hey, Mr. Baxter. Fuck. Okay. All right. There's a shotgun in the house. That would work. Unfortunately for you, your buddy outside ruined that option. Yo, lady. She's got a revolver behind the TV. You're ex-military, and all you keep is a revolver and a shotgun on your pot farm? Yeah? Well, we never had to deal with a fucking hostage situation before, you demented fuck. And wait a second, how did you know I was in the military? We need to get you in that house, and we need to get you to that gun. And the man with the AR-15s? Sam, it's like I've been telling you all along. You're gonna need to trust me. Right. Thank you, fellas. Now do be so kind as to find us our last remaining amigo. And that's Jane. Was Jane. What was that, boy? Easy, Ace. Our boy here is having a rough day. My apologies, sir. Go, Sam. Now. So if you're Timothy, that leaves our remaining mystery man to be Sam Paxton. And your boss, Mr. Sam Paxton. 
of a better word, has concocted this specific formula for growing cannabis. Where might I find this special formula, Timmy boy? So you're telling me you killed all these fucking people over a weed formula? Look, the only formula that I know about is in the lockbox underneath the workbench in the greenhouse that you redecorated. Really? One lockbox coming in. This lockbox? Hmm. And hold. help me locate this formula the only use I have for you alive is in the finding of this fucking guy run Sam Grandmother always here? Always in her room. She got dementia and a whole bunch of other shit. Honestly, I'm surprised she's still kicking it. So, uh, what makes you guys think you're gonna be any different from the rest of the weed growers out there? Well, let's just say we plan on growing a little faster than the rest of them. How? Put a little cocaine in the soil? Huh? Mm -hmm. Trick you picked up in Arakistan? Actually, we're experimenting with infusing the weed with nice... Cutting, splicing. Whatever, I don't really care. The point is you need my land to do whatever it is you gotta do. Your grandmother's land. And it's Iraq. And we served in Afghanistan. Iraq, Afghanistan, it's all the same shit. It's the Middle East. Look, man, we got some other places that we wanna look at. Truth is, we like your spot because it's secluded. You wanna be as far away from the police as possible. Just say it. <sighs> I hate it out here. Nobody likes it out here, except for my grandpa. You know what say? He was the one who decided to move out here. He was one of you guys. Uh, Nom. But, uh, he was a bit of a quack, so he moved out here with my grandma. He's dead now. Honestly, I'm gonna sell this place the second she, uh, <laughs> you know. Is this guy fucking serious? Yeah, I am serious. You got a problem with that? A little bit. Hey, hey, hey. It's no problem. So, we got a deal. You guys set up shop on my land and I get 20% of your yield. Or, no, no, uh, it's 25% because I assume you guys aren't licensed. Fuck no. I'm not partnering with this Jimmy, guy. wait. No. Hey, just give me one second, okay? No. Oh. Hey. Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy, come on, hey. Hey, come on, hey, hey, hold up, hold up. What? Wait. I'm not partnering with that fuck. Look, we can negotiate with him. Fuck that. That guy's a scumbag. Let's go find somewhere else. There is nowhere else. No one's gonna take us without licenses and rent. That's why we need a place that's under the radar. <laughs> what? Oh, what? I'm sorry, you're not seeing this clearly. Oh, come on, don't give me that bullshit, bro. Sam, there's no under the radar. When you have a partner you can't trust. Your mom's gone. Rushing this isn't gonna bring her back. It's not what this is about. No? 
If that's the case, then let's go. Wrong choice. Look me up when you realize it. So I take it we have a deal? Sam, although I can't see that beautiful face of yours, I can see that you're not moving. <laughs> yeah, I'm moving, I'm moving. All right, Mr. Black. I've been working on this farm for about six months now. If it's the weed you want, I know how to grow it. You farm me on my head. Could have done without the mass killing, genocide you brought upon our, our land here. <laughs> but, you know, a couple body bags, a little bit of bleach, no one's the wiser. <laughs> You're a regular riot to me, boy. Funny kid. I think he's fucking serious, Ace. Why don't you knock some sense into him, will you please? Don't you never ask, Bows. Stay away from me, you fucking crow! So where did you serve? What was that? Well, your army, right? <laughs> you know, I admire the effort to turn the table, Sam. But that is gonna be a real non-starter. Where is she? The gun, Sam. No, no, she's always in here. She? Who? Fucking Parker. How long do I have to stay here again? I don't like your place. It smells funny. Just a few more days, Grandma. The fumigate in the farm. I told you last week, remember? Well, all right. Look, Grandma, I gotta run for a bit. Are you okay to stay here by yourself? Do you like people talking to you when you're in the bathroom? Okay, I gotta run. I'll be back. So who is it? Jesus Christ, what is it with this kid? Who's who? Who's sick? The fuck you talking about? Is it your kid? Is it your baby girl? Hey, baby doll. Is it Mrs. Black? Gonna shut him the fuck up already? Yes, sir. <laughs> Look, fists are fine. We don't need. We don't need a knife. We need a fucking knife. We're gonna roll on Plan B, boys. Over. Timothy's squealing out here. Unless you want me to chop him up into nice, even eight ounce packages, I suggest you come outside and play. He's in there. Go find him. 
<laughs> Fucking amateur hour here, Timmy boy. I'm really scraping the bottom of the barrels these days, aren't I? stuff. But I gotta say, you guys do a damn good job. Take it easy now, Sam. I know you're thinking, don't do it. No, I'm not. You need Black alive. <laughs> Once again, a little trust is gonna go a long way. Shoot me. He has Amanda. What did you just say? I missed the part where that matters. Fuck. If you go out on a rampage now, even if you manage to take out Black, you will never see your wife again. Fuck you. You said that already. Yeah? Did I say this? If I were you, I'd shoot me. Because whoever the fuck you are, when I find you, and I will find you, you'll be lucky if all I do is kill you, you fucking piece of shit. Schmuck think he's doing. Come to join the party? What is this? You were supposed to be out of here hours ago. Holy shit. Are they all dead? Yeah, what's the maggot doing here? Came to see the show. Find him a front row seat, will you, pal? My pleasure. Whoa, this wasn't part of the plan. This wasn't oh, part of the Fucking loud, you know you loud, sir? Okay, easy. Sit down, shut up. I owed you a hundred grand, this is insane. You forgot to tell us that your mad scientist watched Rambo one too many times. Ah. Alright, this guy, how's it looking? He's a fucking ghost. Oh, this little charade has gone on way further than my patience will allow. Yo, Sam! I didn't want to have to kill anyone else, but as far as I'm concerned, this next one's on fucking you! Come out now, Sam, or Timmy Boy here gets it! I mean it, Sam! Five seconds or your boy gets it. Four, three, two, what? That's him.
I'm gonna get you, boy. No, Sam, no! Give it up, Sam! Time's over. Yo, Mr. Paxton. Come on, Sam. Don't make me have to start chopping limbs here. There he is. The man of the hour has officially arrived. Let me just tell you how good it is, Sammy boy, to finally fucking meet you. Look who's here. Baby, don't worry. I'm gonna Look get us out too, okay? All right, enough of the reunion. Fuck you. Fuck me. Woo! That's my boy. Easy. I did not want to have to do that, Sam. You started off on the wrong foot here. And I can appreciate the gravity of the situation. I mean, I kill most of your buddies. I kidnap your adorable, lovely wife. Hell, I even busted your fucking gate out here. And if you had a little doggy, I probably would have shot that too. You murdered innocent people over a full meal for growing weed? You sadistic fuck. Yeah, you're right, I did. And you want to know why? Because the good Lord has cursed his greatest creation when he gave us free will, Sam. Saving lives, taking lives. In the grand scheme of things, does it really make a difference? Because I gotta ask you, I don't know who she is, but if she needed you, what would you do to save her, Sammy boy? So far. That's what it's all about, pal. Distilled irrigation, phosphorus, 15% potassium. Not that I know what the fuck I'm looking at here, but I have to say I am impressed. <laughs> I mean, after all, your little setup out here ain't exactly a breakthrough type of place. Now, now, boss, didn't Microsoft start in a garage? 
<laughs> if you got what you wanted, then why are you still here? Million dollar question. You see, when Grandma's little strunzad over here, Shemanu, told me about you, I have to say that I was dubious at best. I mean, here's a guy that pulls off the fucking unthinkable. The guy actually develops a cure for a disease that's got a greater death toll than the fucking Holocaust. And he doesn't want to cash in his golden ticket and get rich? When I heard this, I says to myself, I gotta meet this fucking guy. Come on, open up. What is it, Sam? What is it? What are you talking about? I got a hard time believing that a man that's so fucking good, a man that's so self-righteous, doesn't want to heal anyone? Something's not lining up here, Sam. You'll never understand. Look at me, a piece of shit like you, you'll never understand. What are you not telling everyone, Sam? What's not on this list? I'll put a bull in the back of the head, I swear it! What is it? Right back! Hey, he 
he's not gonna shoot us. Look at me, he's not gonna shoot us. sleeping in here. <laughs> it's closer to the <coughs> bathroom. What happened to your shoulder? It's a little scratch. Never mind. <sighs> How you feeling, baby doll? Well, you look as stunning as ever. You do. Listen, I don't want you to worry. I'm working on something. I don't lose. Not you. I miss you. I love you. My very existence is a race to attain wealth For the thief's only loyalty to life is to the devil in himself
You once said I'd wind up back at war or somewhere worse. Guess I chose somewhere worse. What's up, Vincent? Jimmy, how are we doing? All right. Drinking or working? Working. Oh, Victor, my man, I am in desperate need of tequila. It's Vincent. Is that what I just said? Oh, fuck. God. I'm really sucking a fat one tonight, let me tell you. Oh, apologies if that's what you're into, man. Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? No. <laughs> Some personality on him, eh? Thought it'd be 16 bucks. Well, I thought it was on the house here. Oh, sorry, pal. Policy just ended. Oh, I just lost a hundred grand. <sighs> Fuck. All right, kid. What am I gonna find on Winnie's platform? What kind of security are we talking about? Chain link fence. Local PD? 30 miles away, at best. All right, Mr. Renfro. You got 48 hours to get Granny off that farm. Can you do that for me? Well, what happens after 48 hours? Cut him loose. What happens after 48 hours? Ah! So let me get this straight. You're asking me to take out seven men inside of a minute. Asking? Hell, we're telling. I thought you had some laundry list of confirmed kills. Isn't this sort of thing supposed to be in your wheelhouse? We were gonna give you 70 large for doing this, but now, you see, now I'm getting a sudden urge to make our little arrangement here performance-based. I'm gonna tell you what, we're gonna give you 10 grand for every head you splatter before we roll in with the cleanup crew. You go seven for seven now. I'll personally guarantee you 80. Sounds good. Anything else? You good here, boss? The leader is Sam Paxton. I want him alive. You wound him, but he's alive when we get there. You got that? And how am I supposed to know which one he is? I'm sure you found yourself in a police lineup or two. Figure it out. Okay, Slick? You can go now. Yes, sir. Oh, and Ace. Let's find out if our guy's a family man. We're gonna need us some insurance. You know, boss, I'll notify Carl and Willie to pick up the next of kin, but may I ask, out of pure curiosity, why we're leaving this man alive? If you knew the six winning jackpot numbers, but for some reason, you're not cashing in, would you write down all six, leave them around for two crooks like us to steal? <laughs> or would you put down five and leave one in the safe up here? That, plus I just like to know the reason. The reason, boss? Why is this man not cashing in? Hey, Sam. Been a bit, bro. Oh, by the way, been a gun for her the last three years. And my latest job is to kill you and all your men. But how you been? You know, brother, I bet neither of us figured the paths of our bad choices will cross. And then he said, like, Charlie M or something. I don't know. It's, fucking, it's weird. Yeah, it's weird. What is that? It's a movie, Casino. You see Casino? Yeah, it's weird, I don't know. Is this over now? I gotta get you somewhere safe. 
Are you gonna tell me what's going on? It was Jimmy. Jimmy, your old war buddy, Jimmy. He did all this? Well, yeah, but he's also the reason that we're still alive. Great. I'll be sure to send him a thank you letter. What about you, Tim? All I know is I don't want to see that fucking maniac ever again. But besides, someone's got to stick around and water the plants. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't get to you before, um, before all this. I'm still breathing, right? said anything the whole ride I have a lot of unanswered questions I know you're the victim but that monster seemed like he was going to expose you Sam as if he knew some sort of secret what secret I don't know but when he held a fucking gun to my head it seemed as if you were about to blurt it out. We're there. Of course we are. So what's the plan? Hey. That's your plan? That's you're, the plan? You're not gonna have to use it. But if you do, it's just like the range. Hey, unless you hear anything, stay here, okay? I guess we'll finish this later. Noscopy. Nosc- what? To reverse engineer opium, you can isolate a compound called noscopy. Now, it's not an addictive painkiller, so Big Pharma's got no use for it. But it inhibits cancer cells. Sam? Put the fucking gun down, man. The fuck? Hey, Jimmy. What the fuck are you doing here? Put the fucking here? gun down. Jesus Christ. Hey, look. Oh, my fuck. Come on, man. This is bullshit. Find my letter? Yeah, man. I found your letter. Sorry, I didn't know. Hey, Jimmy, look. I said I found the letter. Well, if you're not here to kill me, what do you want? 
I take it your boss is still alive. You don't want to go there. I want my family safe. All right? The way I see it, you don't get to take your life until I take his. Now, you gonna put that fucking gun down? Stop pointing that gun at my husband. It's not for me. Sorry about this whole mess, darling. Just put it down, Jimmy. Wasting my last bullet on you anyways. So there's Mr. Black. How do we get him? <laughs> If you're guessing Black was a fake name, you're right. His real name is Caesar Bonanno, bastard of the Bonanno crime family. His father was an Italian and his mother was a Jew, making him a half-breed. Meaning he could only rise so far in the Mafia, and he knew that. So, changed his name, moved out west. His mob ties have loosened over the years, so long as he kicks back something every now and again, he's his own boss. Family? No. Wife? Kids? He's got a daughter. Pretty smart kid. She goes to Caltech. Wife, though, doesn't leave the house much. No? Huh? She's got stage three leukemia. By the looks of it, she's losing the battle. Explains why he's so obsessed with you. Hmm. Where do we find him? He also runs an underground gambling racket outside of Los Angeles. His high-stakes tables bring in some pretty high rollers. That's patted the man's ego quite a bit. Although they still think he's a crook. He doesn't like that either. Welcome. Nice to see you, Caesar. Charlie, serve the man a drink, will you please? What are we drinking, gentlemen? Scotch man, if I recall. Tequila. Tequila? Really? Costly owned, Charlie. On the rocks. Coming right up. So, is this the magic recipe? Looks like I should have brought the entire legal team. <laughs> no need for that. This is what you're looking for. And I had to go to some great lengths to get it. And I'm here to compensate. Oh, you'll be bringing me a lot of money. And not just what fits in Ivan's briefcase over there. Salud. L'chaim. L'chaim. This is the account I want my funds wired to. And this is the amount you're going to transfer tonight before you leave. And the Paxton formula is all yours. <laughs> it doesn't work exactly like that. There has to be testing, quality controls, that kind of thing. How do I even know this is real? Because I have to be some sort of idiot to cross you. And you know, with all of my flaws, I think I can clearly say that idiocy ain't on the list. Then there's the simple fact this formula doesn't leave here tonight unless I'm a very happy man. I have to make a phone call. Wait, before you do, there's one more thing. What's that, you forget a zero? Carter, I'm no conspiracy theorist, but you don't have to be to know that you guys ain't looking to cure jack shit. Well, Look, now, I get it, I do. You guys got a bottom line. The world's got to spin. 
Jokers don't understand the troubles of a king. Unfortunately, I find myself on the wrong end of the hierarchy. You see, my wife, she's got it. She's dying. And I'm the joker that can't fix her. But now you're a king that can, and you will. I'm gonna do my best. Your see, best? Man. See, there's something you may already know about me. Yeah, my head ain't screwed on like most folks. And I ain't playing with a full deck, but I am playing with a fixed one. Meaning that I don't give a fuck who you are. You do wrong by me, and I'll gut you. Ivan and all your king's men watch. You really are a sick fuck, aren't you? <laughs> you have no idea. Now you can make your phone call. Pleasure seeing you as always, Carter. Yeah, it was something. Why don't you hit the tables while you're here? Tell you what, first 100 K's on me. I'll take a rain check on that. Anytime. What do you say, Charlie? Another round? Me and you? Pour it up. Already on it. I got this boss probably the pit. Mr. Bees, what's up? Oh, yeah? Yeah, well, just a second. Boss, I think you're gonna wanna take this. Who is it? My wife? Who is this? I bet you're feeling pretty good about yourself right now. Who are you and how'd you get this number? That was a nice move you played with the van and the horn. They didn't teach you to double tap your target in sniper school, you fuck? I guess I must have missed that day. You're a dead man, you know that? You better find some fucking far corner of the earth to hide in. I'm gonna fucking kill you, you rat fuck. I'm coming for you. Well, before I get my head start, let me ask you one question. What's that? How often do you pay attention to the faces at your tables? Is everything all right, boss? Yeah. Pull a table chemist on that thing, will you please? Yeah, one sec. Oh, this just gets better and better. You know, when I taught you about the good Lord's biggest fuck up by giving us free will, I didn't think you'd take it as a personal challenge. <laughs> Get up. I'm on a bit of a roll here. Oh, yeah? Hey! Hey! We'll set you up on another table. That's a shame. Yeah, like I was really on a hot streak. <laughs> shame. Bus. Play on, Sam. Looks like I stole your queen there again, pal, huh? Yeah, it would appear so. So I just got off the phone with your shitbag friend. Oh. Now you mean the mercenary that you hired to kill me? It would appear I hired the wrong guy for the job. Yeah, maybe so. So why are you here, Sammy? Because I gotta tell you, if you wanted to take me out, there's gotta be a hundred better ways you could have went about it than strolling through the lion's den. Hmm. So I take it by now you cashed in on what you stole from me then, huh? Oh, you missed the boat on that big time, pal of mine. Yeah, who was it? Pfizer? Scriptol? El Chapo. What's the matter to you? Ah, uh, <laughs> it doesn't. Just as long as it wasn't Scott's. Scott's? Yeah. They already know the ingredients to Miracle Grub. Fuck you talking about, kid. You sold your buyer the formula for Scott's Miracle Grub. 
You're shitting me. I know a bullshitter when I see one. Do you? You know, I've been around a few blocks in my day. Stared into the eyes of a lot of people. Mostly cowards. Very few champions. You're gonna stop you right there. Okay. Oh, I see. You think because you slid a rook across the board, took my queen, that you got me in checkmate? You're forgetting whose board you're playing on, son. Take a look around you. What's to stop me from dragging you out of here in front of all these nice people by your fucking balls and beating the real formula out of you? Huh? It's been a while since I personally dismembered somebody. You might be a good fucking candidate. <laughs> oh, we're laughing now. <laughs> yeah, we're laughing now. You want to see something real funny? You cocksucking motherfucker. I'll rip your balls off and feed them to you. You know, before you do that, you may want to look a little closer. I know you're kind. You got some hair in your chest, but you wouldn't kill an innocent woman. Hmm. You know, maybe you're right about that. I wouldn't. But he would. Hey, Jimmy, you there with me? Yeah. Tell him Blood Red's really gonna clash with his decor. Look. You hate me for what I did to your precious little pot farm. Let's be real. It wasn't me, it would've been somebody else. You can't expect to hide the cure for cancer. Think that no one's gonna take it from you? But yet you're smart enough to know that Big Farm will chew you up and spit you out. Look, I know we got off to a rocky start, granted. But you need someone to make sure the big boys do right by you. Someone who's got markers on guys a lot more powerful than Carter Winslow. And that's someone. That's you. If you could promise me right here and right now that you save her, It'll have to be. And I'm not just talking about telling that rat fuck to stand down. Why don't we finish this business upstairs? I could use a drink anyway. Now you're starting to make some sense. Clyde. Give me a piece. I'm serious. That's cool with you, boss? Go ahead. Lead the way. Sammy, I just gotta know, because I was right, wasn't I? There's a key ingredient you left off that list. I guess there's no harm in telling you now, right? It's a compound found in opium. <laughs> Typical. Mm -hmm. You keep the stuff that can actually help people locked up while the entire industry makes fucking billions pushing poison without a cure. Oh, fuck. Caesar Black wanted me to tell you that he mixed up your formula. Although I'm sure by now you already figured that one out. Who the fuck are you? You wanted my formula, right? The real one? It's yours. Let me guess, Sam Paxton. You didn't have to bring that gun to leave here, Richmond. I'm afraid it's just not that simple. 
You see, I have what you want. Now you, Mr. Winslow, have the power that I need. And I'm not talking about your money. Although, you're gonna be spending plenty of that too. You see, within my research, there are certain legal red flags, let's call them. Now what you're gonna do is influence the FDA to get around those legal red flags. And once you do, you and I are gonna be known as the men that cured cancer. The men that cured cancer? No, no. I understand that this right here means the end to your biggest revenue stream. But you are gonna have to see that through a different lens. Because while all your other competitors out there are gonna be offering poison treatments, you, sir, you'll be the only guy on the block with the cure. Exclusive to you. You need to put that gun down. Get me a pen. It's a good answer. Said the thief to the moon, I'll extinguish your light soon. I'll put it in to hold the light that you shed on this world in its darkened state. Said the moon to the thief. that